Hello everyone, welcome along to the final day of this five day workout course, all about toning. This is day five of five. You've done it. And if you found this video and you've missed the other four days, don't worry, in the comments, in the description, there'll be all the links to the other workouts from the other days of the week. All using different pieces of equipment you've got at home, or you may have got for presents and that kind of thing. So today's workout is all about using the kettlebell. Now, lots of people have kettlebells at home. Maybe use as a doorstop. Usually, <laughs> get those doorstops out. Let's start using them. Let's start getting results with them. I'll give you a fun workout today. Now, warm up first. I'm going to take you through a whole range of exercises. I'm an online personal trainer. I'm going to be coaching you through all the exercises. Tell you exactly what to do. Train along with me. We're going to get results. We're going to feel good. We're going to look good. All of my workouts on my YouTube channel are all designed that you can do at home, in a minimal space, whatever you've got. They can be easily done in a small amount of time. Really effective, really, uh, really a fun workout. So we're going to get started with a warm up. So I'm going to put this to the side just for a minute. I'm going to take you through a quick warm up. Bit of a march to start off with. Just to get the heart rate up, feeling good, get the muscles a little bit warmer, ready for action, okay? So standing up nice and straight, tight muscles pulled in, let's have those knees up, heart rates up, and then take a feet a little bit wider, wide march, I'm going to bend our knees, a little roll our shoulders back, just a simple warm up. And don't forget, as I said, check out all the other workouts in this workout series, all about toning. We're going to stretch our arms across. We use all different types of equipment. You'll probably find one there that suits you perfectly. So today's workout is a full body workout using just one piece of equipment, the kettlebell. Now stretch those arms up and across. Nice big reach up. And then bring it across. Touching opposite hands to knees, taking it across. Lift those knees up nice and high, keep the chest up, back up straight. And then let's touch your heels behind, opposite hands to heels, kicking those heels back. And after our exercise, then we take through a little stretch routine to finish off our workout for today. And then take it there across, opposite shoulder, reaching across. One then the other, bend those knees, nice big stretch over. And three, two, one, just gonna go around the middle, side to side. Ease off around the middle. And again, let's have four, three, two and one good job all right now we're gonna get straight to work now grab your kettlebell now you can use any weight kettlebell you like so i'm using a six kilogram kettlebell you may have a two a four an eight and it goes up so any way you like you'll get the perfect workout just for you any 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 weight that you've got is absolutely perfect we're going to start off the kettlebell swing now if you've done these before Feet quite wide, we're going to use our hips and our thighs, and it's a swing. We're using momentum to lift the kettlebell, and we're not lifting, we're swinging. And I'm going to show you sideways on. We're going to bend our knees, and then push. Now, it's not a very big bend, as you can see. It's a small bend. Kettlebell comes up, level to shoulders, and push forward with our hips. Use those glutes. Join in with me when you can. I'm going to turn face forwards and push forwards and up. And it's good all over, all over exercise, this one. Legs, tummy muscles, back muscles, abs, shoulders. We're gonna be of everything here. Squeeze it up. Okay, about halfway through the join in with me, real time of exercises. Push it up. And we keep breathing. Push on those hips, push on those thighs, and remember, use momentum, use the weight. That's it. Squeezing up. We've got two more reps, one more, 
and good. Okay, we're okay with the kettlebell. Now, I'm going to take the kettlebell upside down. Now, if you've got a heavy kettlebell, you find this a bit more tricky, but it's okay. We're going to hold the kettlebell upside down. We're going to have squats. So again, we're going to sit back through the weight, through the heels. Send the hips back. Okay, join in with me when you're ready. Three, two, one, and down, and stand. Using our kettlebell as a weight. I'm going to turn and face you. Keep the back up nice and straight. Strong legs. Push it up. Again, keep breathing. It's a good workout, it's a good all round fat burner, toning the lot. They're so effective, these kettlebells. We're over halfway now. Squeeze it up. Squeeze. Squeeze. Here we go, we can feel those thighs working now. Feel on those arms. Let's do three, two, and one. And good. Okay, take it back down again. Let's go for swings again, this time with one hand. So I'm going to use just one arm. Other arm is our balance. And push. Push. And again, we're working abs, we're working legs, we're working shoulders. The whole body is firing up now. We're working really well. Get that energy of your body moving. Everything working. Again, swing, momentum. Now, the heavier your weight, the more you'll need your arm for balance. So just see how you feel. Squeeze, squeeze. Four more swings here. Four, three, two, one. Now switch. Now, I did at that point where it becomes weightless. Do feel free to stop and change hands if you want to. And that's exactly the point we want to get to each time, the point where it becomes weightless. Swing, swing, swing. Four more here now. Four, three, two, and one. Very nice. All right, hold it there. We're going to use the weight now, so we're going to a deadlift. So soften those knees. We're going to hold the weight, hold the kettlebell. I'm going to show you a couple, then we'll start the workout. Soft knees, straight back. Arms go forwards and stand. Push, push. All right, join with me when you're ready. Three, two, one, let's go. Down and stand. Putting in these tummy muscles. Send those hips back. Keep those shoulder blades sliding down to your back pockets. That's what it feels like. Push those, push those shoulder blades back. Breathe out as you stand. Squeeze. We're working all of the hamstrings, the glutes, the lower back. Halfway through now. Squeeze it up. Should be nice and warm now. Let's go for four more repetitions here. Four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, I'm going to show you a bit more advanced move now. It's a bit more tricky, so just watch me first and join in. Now I'm going to show you without a weight at all. Then you can have a weight in. So it's called the windmill. Now, this foot, toe facing forwards. This foot, toe facing out. Maybe about two o'clock on this foot here. This hip is over this foot. Imagine there's a door here. You're pushing into that door. This like goes directly over the top. This hand on the inside of the thigh. This hand goes all the way up. You're gonna send this hip out and this hand slides down the inside of your leg and you're gonna push up. You're gonna look up at this hand and push. It's called the windmill. And it's super good, super effective, working our abs, obliques, inner thighs. Keep that hip over that, over that foot, over it. Now, if you feel comfortable and you'd like to, add in a weight, 
You're absolutely more than welcome to stay here as you are without a weight. You can choose. Take that arm down, looking up at our weight. Working right in here, right in through our obliques. Send that hip out. Take a bit of practice this one on the technique. So by, feel free to watch this video again and get the technique right. Sliding down, this leg is straight. Two more this side. One more. Very nice, all right, let's swap over. So this foot comes straight, we can turn this one out. This hip is over the foot. This hand inside of the thigh, this hand's coming up, palm facing towards me. Send that hip out, slide it down and push up. Breathe out as you press. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Again, keep that hip directly over that foot and push. And push. This is quite a specific, more advanced exercise for the kettlebell. So just be aware of that. And do feel free, as I said, to do it without any weight at all. When you're confident with the weight, that's when you add the weight in. Get the technique right first. Let's do four more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Very nice, shrink it down. That's such an effective workout. If you get that right, you're working so many muscle groups. Okay, grab your kettlebell again. Now we're gonna hold this way, more obliques, more obliques here. Now we're gonna take, this is working right across the waist actually, this one. This figure of eight. So what we're gonna do is, again, we use momentum, movement, flow, and we're taking the kettlebell through the legs, swapping round. Can you see? Take hold of the kettlebell. One side, then the other side. Weaving the kettlebell through the legs, working right through our obliques, right through the waist. I'm gonna show you sideways as well. So it's nice movement from side to side, working laterally here, working across, working across. Again, so many different muscles working through the thigh, the glutes, inner thighs, waist, shoulders. Full body workouts, it's super effective. Again, all these workouts are designed to be super effective in a short amount of space of time because we haven't got loads of time. Three more here, three, two, and one, and... <laughs> Good job, good job. All right, we'll do one more exercise. We're gonna use this for upright rows. So we're gonna have feet about hip width apart, soften the knees, shoulders back and down, pulling in tum muscles. We're gonna lift elbows up and down. So some of these exercises, I'm really using the kettlebell as a weight, but a couple of them are more specific to using the kettlebell. The swings, the single arm swings, the windmill, the figure of eights. Good, squeeze it up. So nice straight back, shoulders back, lift up, control on the way down. Is our last exercise for a little stretch. Squeezing up and down. Are you feeling good? Can you feel those muscles working? This is about recruiting all those muscle cells, all those muscle fibers to become stronger, more toned. Have good shape. Have strength. Let's do four more raises here. Four, three, two, last one. All right, bend those knees then. Put the kettlebell down. We're gonna go a little stretch now. Well done, everybody. <laughs> Let's start off with our shoulders then. Take the arm across the body. Give a little stretch. Stretch out the shoulders and hold that arm across the body. We've got quite a lot of. A lot of everything actually, work the shoulders definitely. And the other arm. I hope you enjoyed that workout. I'm feeling good. And then take the arm back. Let's take it back to a tricep stretch. Take the arm back. 
and the other arm. Just shows you can do what you can do, these workouts. The short amount of time, being super efficient, being super clever with the exercise you're doing, or all these workouts, you can get the most amazing results. Stretch those arms back for me in minimal time, which ultimately is what we all want. And taking the arms forward, stretch out the back muscles. And then we're gonna take hold of one foot, stretch out the quads for me, knees squeeze together, push your hips forward, stretch out the front of the thighs. And relax, change legs. Squeezing up again, stretch the front of those legs. And then take the feet out nice and wide. And then turn this toe out, lean over, stretch in the thighs. And bring it up, switch over, other side, lean over. And then we're gonna finish off with a hamstring stretch. So we're gonna take one foot forward, toe up, leaning forward, hands above the knee on the supporting leg and stretching through the back of the leg here in the hamstrings. And coming up and switch over, other hand on the knee, other knee. And then take a deep breath in, fill the lungs, stretch it up to the ceiling, stretch up, over, stretch out through the obliques. And then change over, lift up and over, other side. And relax. Very nice. Well done, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. That was day five of five of our workout series all about toning, all about equipment, small equipment you may have at home, the step, the dumbbell, the band, the kettlebell. We worked it all, full body workout for the week. And again, these workouts are designed to be super effective, super efficient, in short amount of time as possible, because that's what it's all about. We haven't got massive time to be working out, be training. We want results, we want them quick, and we want to feel good. So well done, everybody. I'm Jenny, thank you for joining me on another one of my workouts. I'll see you again soon for another workout.